What up YouTube Empire Comics here back with a new video and in this video I'm going to show you the books I picked up when I went dollar bin hunting over this past weekend. I got a got a pretty hefty stack of books. Um, got a few books that I was looking for, another group of books I was missing out on and a great little stack of keys that I found in the dollar bins. Now before I get into the books, if you like hunting for low budget keys, weekly combo calls, CGC unboxings, and new combo day spec buys, then click subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. But uh, first I'm going to show you the books I picked up at this first shop. Um, I stopped by because they usually have uh, a lot of the books from like the last two to four issues on their newer wall. So I went there to pick up some books I was missing out like these um, What If Miles Morales. I picked up issue two what if miles morales uh was the hulk for issue three and the controversial one uh what if miles morales issue four what if miles was thor i read it uh it was really hard to read man i'll tell you the truth uh almost wanted to put it down like three different times and i picked up the two books i was missing for gwenverse we have gwenverse issue two and gwenverse issue three then I wanted to pick up Alice Ever After, if after issue three, uh, I had cover B. This is a uh, cover A I was missing. Uh, I saw a copy of Grimm issue one, the third printing, so I wound up picking that up. And they have the issue two fall variant. Uh, pick that one up for five dollars. Why not? All right. Then I went to a different shop, and I found a whole bunch of these uh, Sprouse 50th anniversary books. Um, a few weeks ago, I decided I wanted to try collecting them myself. Um, I don't know why. I just, after looking at the little set that I had, I was like, ah, you know what? I want to get some more. I want to get all of them. Um, didn't realize there were so many, but I picked up quite a few. I have the Empire Strike Back one with uh, Lando. Uh, the one here from Return of the Jedi with Boba Fett and uh, Jabba the Hutt on the cover. We have Django and Boba Fett on the cover of this one. The Force Awakens ones with uh, Ray and I forget his name. Oh my God, his name is drawing the blank. And um, Finn. And then we have Galaxy's Edge. I don't know who these characters are. It might be from a new Star Wars ride or something. And then we have the New Hope one with Princess Leia and Darth Vader. We have the Phantom Menace one with uh, Qui Gon and Obi Wan. Then we have the Mandalorian one. I forget his name. This is uh, forget his name. This is Apollo, but I forgot his name in this in the movie, in the show, and uh, the bartender. Then we have the Resistance one. I don't know don't know who that's supposed to be, but that's BB-8. And that's what that for. Uh, that was all of the Star Wars ones that I got. Now these are the dollar bin books that I picked up. Man, I picked up some great books for a dollar. The first one is Uncanny X-Men 184 that has the, it's also a newsstand. This is the first appearance of Forge. This is going for like $30 regular uh, newsstand, usually gets a few dollars more. Then I have uh, Thor issue 459. This is the first appearance of Eric Masterson as Thunderstrike. This is when he becomes Thunderstrike. Um, this is the newsstand. This one's going for like $12 to $15. Um, then I have uh, Cable Issue 1. This has the origin of Cable. It's also his first ongoing series. Then I got two copies of Cable Blood and Metal Issue 1. This was Cable's first uh, mini series. And these were for a dollar, guys. Then I have Star Wars High Republic Issue 1. This one's going for like uh, 10 or $20, I believe. It has like the first appearance of seven characters. Um, then this is a somewhat hot one. This is P Spectacular Spider-Man issue 100. This has uh, the third appearance of Spot, but it's a pretty cool cover with Spot on here and the uh, symbiote suit. Pretty cool for a dollar. Uh, then I got two of these, Symbiote Spider-Man issue three. This uh, was pretty hot a few uh, months ago with No Way Home when they had a little trailer with Peter wearing the cape or whatever, uh, the Cloak of Levitation. Those are going for like 20. Got it for a dollar. Then we have Kaiju Scorch One. I always try to pick it up when I see it because it was option. It was, yeah, it was option by Sony, but it was still option. If you could pick it up for a dollar, why not grab it? Um, these two, not really worth that much, but 
I used to have them when I was younger, so I wanted to pick up Spectacular Spider-Man 189 with the foil variant. Uh, not variant, but the foil cover when they were doing that. Not even the foil, with the holographic cover, my bad, when they were doing that. I'm not sure if it was the first ones to do it. Uh, and this is Spider-Man 26, holographic cover. I have these two. I got them recently, maybe a few months ago, but they were the second print and the hologram is gold. So I'm happy to get the first printing. And then I got two books to go to my nostalgia collection. I definitely got to change the bag. This is Team America issue one. These were a bunch of toys in the late 70s, early 80s. And then I have Raiders of the Lost Ark issue one with the first appearance of Indiana Jones in comics. Um, this one's going for like 15, 20 dollars picked it up for a dollar glad to have this one it's going to my collection i already have uh from marvel comics indiana jones issue one but this one i was missing so glad to find it all right guys that's all the books i have for this haul thanks for sticking to the end of the video let me know what you think about the books in the comments below and until next time keep specking later